Hey there, Jack. It is Jay here at Rorick Mazda. So I thought this might be the most helpful is making you a quick video of this vehicle. So just to kind of recap, this particular car we had taken in, uh, it was a pull-ahead lease return. So it is a 2022 model year CX-5 in the preferred trim. Now the vehicle completed the entire certification, which I believe I had mentioned in email. In fact, you'll see that the inspection stickers are actually good until next month of next year so 1024 the only thing that this vehicle has not yet completed is its detail so it is scheduled to go down to the detail department tomorrow at 11 o'clock so just wanted to give you an idea of in this video you are going to see it exactly in the condition that we had taken it in though honestly it is in very very good condition you can kind of tell just by having about 15,000 miles on it now going over the preferred trim level in general uh, in terms of feature wise so up front you might see those little led sort of loops if you would so your headlights are full led but up here in the front you're going to notice this massive emblem that's fake in fact you'll see the camera up on the windshield so those are responsible for all of the safety items that this vehicle has which is every safety feature that mazda has uh to date that's going to be things such as all of your collision avoidance systems with auto brake pedestrian and cyclist detection. The headlamps can use uh, high and low beams automatically. Rain sense wipers. You'll have lane uh, drift assist as well as lane keep assist, which can help steer you back into your lane. Full adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assistance, meaning that the vehicle can actually do, or excuse me, drive itself and stop and go traffic. Um, Obviously, and the list continues. Blind spot monitoring is probably the biggest one for me. So in the side mirrors, there's gonna be these little indicators that light up to let you know if someone is on the left or right side of your car. Uh, what's nifty with those, if you happen to be part of the 2% of Pittsburgh that knows how to use a turn signal, then they'll beep back at you to let you know it's not safe to do so. Kind of going along to the rear here, you're going to see one of the dual exhaust pipes. This does have the 2.5 Sky Active engine. And then lift gate wise, oh, well, just really quick, you'll see the AWD, everything is standard with all wheel drive. Lift gate you'll see is power. Now it is height programmable. So depending upon if you park in like a garage of sorts or even in like a parking garage for work or whatnot, you can program that to stop at a little bit lower of a height here. Now, if we go into the back seats here, so you're going to see interior wise, everything is going to be full leather. It's a black leather with kind of like a cocoa stitch that you'll see kind of going down the side, obviously all the way up the rear seats. Now, obviously rear ventilation, but if I fold down the center armrest, you'll see cup holders, but more importantly, there is two additional USB charging stations back here for your back seats. And of course you'll see that a sunroof is gonna be standard in this vehicle as well. This button here is just for advanced key. Everything is push button. So as long as the uh, key is in a pocket, which it is in mine, you'll see if I press it, it beeps and locks. And then if I hit it again, now it's unlocked. So interior wise, you'll see full leather seats as well as you'll see the two way driver memory right there. And then stereo wise, you have a 10 speaker Pioneer audio. You'll see some of the tweeters mounted up in the windshield pillar. Now Mazda takes a very German style approach with their vehicle. So you're gonna see this is new for last year. This is a 11 inch screen up on top of the dash. Though what I say a German approach is things like Audi, BMW, Mercedes, do not use touch screens. In fact, they use a centralized dial to do all the features and functions, which you'll notice Mazda has as well. Quick prompts to like music, home, navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will be standard. Uh, again, kind of going back to the garage, if you park in a garage, you have the home link system with your auto dimming mirror. And down here, you do have your dual zone climate system as well as heated uh, three stage front seats. Now, of course, I you'll have your backup camera. Uh, there's no need to really turn on the electronics or anything. Uh, electronic parking brake that you'll see there. Sport mode if you want to be that Pittsburgh driver. In fact, even in this trim level, the passenger seat is also power. So again, just giving you kind of a brief generalized overview of not only the vehicle, so that way you can see that there's no major dents, dings, scuff, scrape, scratches. In fact, I don't even think I see anything on this vehicle. In fact, I even look for things like curb rash, which is typical for Pittsburgh, and none to be found on this vehicle also. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lock it here. But like I had mentioned, it will go ahead and get a full, excuse me, a full detail. Um, so if you would like to stop out on Monday, at least you'll be able to see it a lot cleaner than this. But hopefully again, this helps and uh, I appreciate the opportunity and look forward to hearing back. Have a great morning, Jack.